Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be talking about how to use a mobile phone to shoot pictures. Like, yeah, everybody has a mobile phone. You can actually use a mobile phone to shoot really amazing pictures. So, watch out guys. So guys, do you actually know you can use your mobile phone to shoot really amazing pictures? I'm going to put some pictures right up on my screen right now to see. They were all shot with a mobile phone. Isn't that just amazing, guys? So I'm gonna put you guys through on how to shoot with your mobile phone. How to do? Let's start how to do. Cheers, guys. Yeah, this is a very sunny day. So, guys, we're gonna jump straight to it. Um, for you to be able to shoot with um your mobile phone in natural light or anything, yeah, there are some there's some things you need to put into consideration here. Yeah. Where to shoot? When I say where to shoot, um, I'm actually I'm actually trying to say the position in which you're gonna place your subject with relation to the light. Hey, we have a special model because you know there's lockdown. We have COVID-19 and everything. It's a lockdown here in London, so we have a really special model. We decided to like come out to play with. Today and you, you'll be seeing quite a whole lot of uh, mobile phone right now. So I'm going to introduce you guys to my lovely model. Her name is Drum Roll Mercedes. Ta -da! Okay, I'm currently out there and people are like looking at me through windows because I'm going to be inside my house right now. <laughs> so yeah, you guys meet Mercedes. Our lovely model for today. Isn't she just pray? There are different ways you could shoot someone out or using a mobile phone. First, you can actually make your subject face the sunlight. When your subject faces the sunlight, the background is going to look well exposed at the same time. You need to make sure your background looks well exposed and not overexposed just like this happening right now. Like what? See, you don't need to make your background look overexposed. Like can you see the clouds behind? You can see the clouds are like almost blowing out. You don't want that in your pictures. You don't want this in your pictures. You need to make sure you can see the cloud, you can see the clear blue sky. And for you to be able to do that, you need to make sure, firstly, you're facing the sunlight. Like you're facing the sunlight. When your subject faces the sunlight and you shoot that way, you won't have an on you won't have an overexposed background. <laughs> Nice pose, nice pose. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys understand what I mean. For me to explain this, I think I have to take off Mercedes week. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mercedes, but you still look good, Bart. Right now, she's currently facing the sunlight. How would you know this? Can you look at her face right now? Yeah, this is the sun eating her face directly. You can see me putting my hand right in front, you can see me casting a shadow right on her face. That means the sun is directly on our face if i shoot a picture right now with my mobile phone i would get a face looking well exposed and also at the same time i'm going to have the background looking just right let's try that out real quick taking a picture oh <laughs> bug <laughs> I just took a picture of Mercedes right now and you can see the picture up on my screen. You can see both Mercedes face and the background looks well exposed. You can see the clouds in the background, you can see the building, there's nothing looking overexposed. And that image is just for my mobile phone. Now let's jump right into the next phase. Yeah. So guys, next phase right now is actually staying almost at a Rembrandt or a loop position to shoot your subject. What I mean by it is actually standing in front of the sun but standing sideways. So your subject stands almost diagonally to the sun. So that means your background will look well exposed. At the same time, your subject will also look well exposed. You'll get really amazing pictures. The sun is coming this way. I'm going to have my light in my subject right here but not fully on her face. So she's going to stand maybe like diagonally this way then i shoot my subject meaning i'll have a light on my subject and also have a light at the background so everything will look perfect how many souls have i said today so 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 guys so guys so quite a whole lot <laughs> i'm gonna ask my subject to turn back in the light when my subject turns back in the light this is obviously your camera or your mobile phone camera will automatically overexpose the back so 
just decide to bring maybe like a reflector or bring um, a white material I have someone that has a white material I'll stand close to the person to reflect the sunlight back on my subject so my subject looks well exposed but this is quite hard to do using a mobile phone but I think I won't really advise people to shoot this way because many a times you have your background looking overexposed or if you're actually exposed for the background your subject is going to look really black or dark black you get the idea I have um, Mercedes standing right in front of the camera and the back looks overexposed that's because the camera is currently exposing on Mercedes that's why you have the background or sky looking all blown out which you don't want in any picture it looks really horrible in this situation right now the only way it could work is me having a reflector and putting it on mercedes face to bounce that light from behind back on mercedes face and expose for the background i'm speaking so much photography right now for people using their phone i'm really sorry guys but i feel this is the best way i can explain <laughs> talking about taking your subject towards the shade is something like this i'm currently outdoor and under a shade created by this building right here so turning my camera you can see how overexposed this part looks this is the uh, where the sun the shadow is and the sun. and i'm currently standing here i'm having good pictures or good um, exposure here i can can see my background looking really nice um there's light on me there's a background light right there it looks really nice so if it's possible for you to find a shade move your subject towards the shade and shoot your pictures shoot your phone pictures shoot your camera pictures and you get really amazing results so guys all i've been trying to say in totality is you can actually use your mobile phone to shoot amazing pictures oh god you're looking really scruffy like what so guys you can use your mobile phone to shoot amazing pictures like these pictures i'm putting up on the screen right now they shot with mobile phone all mobile phones so just learn how to play around using your phone and natural light or sunlight to get amazing pictures this doesn't just apply with um, mobile phones you can actually use your camera and try it out the same way shooting outdoor this way you're going to get amazing pictures from your mobile phone so guys um, kindly like comment share subscribe on my channel and let's grow this channel together as you know i'm just starting out and taking youtube really seriously this time and if you're watching this on hydro tv that's instagram tv you can always try to subscribe on my youtube channel so thanks guys cheers keep safe and happy crying time <laughs> so like there's no picture i'm going to take right now that won't look really lit like lit Damn!